In this video, we'll be talking about distinguishable permutations. To determine the number of distinguishable permutations that can be formed from a group of objects that have some repetition, we need to divide the number of permutations of the total by the number of repetitions of each object. In other words, if we have n total objects, and n sub 1 of them are identical, and n sub 2 of them are identical, n th sub 3 of them are identical, and so on, then the number of distinguishable permutations is given by the formula n factorial divided by n sub 1 factorial, n sub 2 factorial, n sub 3 factorial, all the way down to n sub k factorial, where k is the number of repeated objects. Our first example, Joe has 15 marbles. Six are red, four are blue, and five are green. How many distinguishable permutations can she form with the 15 marbles? So our numerator going to be 15 factorial and then we need to divide out to take care of the repetitions so that we don't count them more than once. So 6 are red, so that's 6 factorial, 4 are blue, that's 4 factorial, and five are green. Right. Now on this calculator, my factorial is found in the probability menu. So I need to first 15 and then hit the probability button and go over to the factorial notation and press enter. So now I have 15 factorial divided by, and since I have more than one thing multiplied in the denominator, I'll want to open my parentheses and then 6 factorial times 4 factorial times 5 factorial. Close my denominator and press enter. So I have 630,630. Next example, how many distinguishable permutations are there of the letters in the word nonsense? All right, so we need our total number of letters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight letters. And that'll be in our numerator, eight factorial. And then we're going to divide by the repetitions. Now my letter N, I have one, two, three of those. So that'll be three factorial. I only have one O, so it's okay. I have two S's, so there's two factorial. And then I have two E's, that's another two factorial. Eight factorial divided by, and again I need to open my parentheses, three factorial times 
do the factorial times do the factorial. Close my parentheses. Now I could do this without a calculator. I know that 3 factorial is 6 and 2 factorial is 2. So I have 6 times 2 times 2. But since I have it in my calculator, let's go ahead and use that. 1,680. Do one more. How many distinguishable seven digit numbers can be formed from the digits in this number 2722424? Now I have seven digits here, so I have seven factorial divided by. I have one, two, three, four twos, so that's four factorial, and then I have just a single seven, so I don't have to worry about that, but I have two fours, so that's two factorial. So seven factorial divided by, and again I need parentheses since I have more than one factor down here, 4 factorial times 2 factorial. I'll close up my parentheses, and I have 105. 